What do you see here, Aid? Shells. The BioBlitz is one of those activities that we try to get public and scientists involved identifying the many species that are found in a particular area, in this case, Onondaga Lake Park. Onondaga Lake's a, a fascinating lake. I mean, it's in the backyard of Syracuse, uh, this major city, but here's this one of the apparently largest lakes with an undeveloped shoreline in the United States. It's, uh, it's also a wonderful mix of ecosystems. It just uh, kept grabbing a little tiny snapshot in time here, but between the diversity of ecosystems and then this, this layer of, of historical uh, recovery, is, uh, it's just an interesting place to go poke around. Now there are, on a given day, we've caught 25. In a summer, we'll catch about 40 kinds of fish. And over the whole period that has been studied uh, since the 1920s, about 64 kinds of fish and like. So it's a pretty speciose uh, system. How many have ever caught a bowfin? All right. They also call them dogfish because when you put them overboard, what happens? They bark. They have a huge gas bladder that they emit bubbles and they go woof. They absolutely put them over the side. So it's great to see so many volunteers out here today counting organisms on Onondaga Lake. We have more fish in Onondaga Lake than we've had in decades. It's a great recovery and the quality of Onondaga Lake is the best that it's been in decades. It's a lot of work that's been done by the county and we're really seeing the results in the water quality in Onondaga Lake. There's a lot of species that we don't even know about in an area, so unless you take the time to inventory them, um, you'll never know that they're there. Every time we learn about a new species or maybe find them in a new area, we're going to learn more and be able to add to the science that we know. It's it's purity. Purity. Wait, it has that same quality, but in purity. The amazing is the response and the number of people that are involved. Basically, people really uh, really want to get out there and really want to get out in nature and this provides a vehicle to bring people together and to build community and I think that's uh, we go about it for scientific reasons but we end up with this really great uh, sort of commun community building exercise and, and uh, learning about the larger environment everybody really does care and uh, this is just a way to get people together. And it's real important that whenever the uh, restoration is deemed complete in terms of by politicians and by government, uh, by other government people, that there's an entity that is that really represents the long-term stewardship of Onondaga Lake. It, there has to be that entity, otherwise things can deteriorate. And the Onondaga Lake Conservation Corps it really will serve the central role more than any other single entity in central New York to make sure that the lake continues on the path to recovery and doesn't take any step back based on other things uh, that have nothing to do with the past use of the lake, but uh, issues like climate change and other issues that an invasive species, if someone isn't keeping track of what's happening, the lake can, can go backwards instead of on its forward trajectory.